So we are going to do our number talk this morning. We have two to do, and here's your first one. So let's share some possible answers. Hayden? Okay. Anyone else? Court? 30. Okay. Gavin? 30. Uh, Robert? 30. Okay. Zane? 30. Okay. Noah? 30. All right. Sierra? 30. Alec? 29. Okay, you've got some different answers. All right, can we take up some strategies now? I'd like to see what you did. <clears throat> Hayden? I did, uh, I did, I did, I plus, for, plus one equals ten. Pardon the interruption. Cards A and B are missing several devices. If you have any in your room, 23. can you please bring them to the and office now as the students will be here waiting for them. Thank you. Seven times equals 20 and 20 plus Seven equals twelve. Uh, how about twenty plus one equals twenty one? Okay, so here we did. <clears throat> okay. And I did twenty one plus nine equals thirty. Okay, I did uh Okay, I did seven plus one. Plus three plus nine equals thirty, and I did nine plus thirty plus one plus seven equals thirty. So, looking at this strategy up here, the first one you did, what would you call that strategy, or what did you do? Yeah, yeah. Not sure. Okay. Can anyone help him with what we would call that? Don't forget our number talk strategies that we have. So this is an addition question. We have all of these different strategies that we've used before. Robert, do you want to help me with that? Count by make, making friendly numbers. Okay, so we could call it friendly numbers. Does anyone have a different strategy for answering this question? Robert? I got to go. I did 9 plus 1, which equals 10. 7 plus 18, which equals equal 20. And I get 10 plus 20, which equals 30. Okay, and do you have a name for your strategy? Friendly numbers. Friendly numbers, okay. Are there any other ways that we that you added them? <clears throat> Alec? So I did one plus seven and then I equals eight. 
then I did eight plus nine equals sixty, and then I added sixty plus forty equals twenty nine. And what did you what do you call your strategy? Um, I do not have. Uh, what helped you answer the question? Um, okay, so you did the small numbers first? Sure. So looking at, we have two different answers that we've seen done three different ways. What do we want to agree upon is the answer to this question. Here we have the answer being 30, here we have 30, and then here we have 29. So what's, what are we ag agreeing upon? What do you think, Noah? 30. And why do you think it's 30? Um, because, um, I don't know. Okay. That's okay. It, may, it might be hard to say. Yeah. Why? Robert, I know you had your hand up. Why would you agree that the answer would be 30? Because it may cost. Most of all people say it's 30. Now, mm -hmm. why I got a man to my friend is 30. Okay, so if we look at Alex's answer here, he got 29. Do we see where, um, anywhere that we could give him advice for how he answered it? So look at, we'll look at each step. He has all of the numbers there. We have one plus seven is eight, so we took care of those two numbers. Then we have eight plus nine is 16. Sierra? Eight plus nine equals seventeen. Okay, so there we go. So I think that's where we found um, that extra one right there. Okay, so then we can add that one there to make it thirty. Okay, now looking at all of these strategies. So if Hayden's is strategy number one, Roberts is number two, and Alex is number three, can you just show on your hand which strategy you believe is the most efficient way to get to the answer? So the best way for you, the quickest way, what's the best? One, two, or three? Show on your hand. So we are going to multiply for this next question. Okay, take your time. We'll take one more minute. Not sure what to do yet. Look at the words here. Possible strategies written down. Help. Okay. Possible answers for six times twenty-five or six groups of twenty-five. Cord. Okay. Robert. I'm going to um, one. You agree? Okay. Noah? Agree. Agree on this one. Sierra? 930. 150. 150. Okay. So you agree? Hayden? 150. Okay. Zane? 200. 200. Okay. Really good. Really good. <clears throat> Let's take up our strategies. Gavin? 175. Oh, what's that? And would you like to share your strategy with me? Um, well, I just did like um, 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, and then 175. And then, yeah, so I just kind of lift up my fingers to like six times, like, and then I add 25 each time to get 175. Okay, and what do you call your strategy? Um, addition. Okay, so you use addition. And we can, for some multiplication questions, think of that as addition. Other strategies. Robert? I think of it as money. I know four times 25, which equals 100. 100 lamb plus 50, which is 150. Okay, so I heard you at the beginning. You said you used your knowledge of... Money. Money, okay. 
And <clears throat> just to help out your friends here, how did you get that 50 there? I get these two times 100 bucks. Okay. Okay, and so we're going to use this um, thinking about money as our strategy for that one. Other strategies? Cord? Oh, okay. Anyone else have anything to share? No? Then six groups. Okay. It's inside. Do you know what you call this strategy? Um, no. I think because you said groups, we could call it yeah. groups. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so a couple of different answers. And sorry, Noah, what answer did you have for yours? Uh, 30. I forget. Okay, that's okay. Why don't we look at the other two right now? and see um, if we can agree upon what the answer to this question is. Now that you see it written out, um, does anyone want to help with that? So we have Gavin who used addition and got 175. <coughs> Robert and Cord um, used, their, used money and they, they arrived at 150, 150. So what answer are we going to agree upon for this? Mm -hmm. I I know what should we agree on. Okay. I should agree on 950. Okay. So if you agree on that, do you see, um, do you have some advice for Gavin up here? Yes, I do. Gavin did 725. Okay. So if I, Gavin, this would be 7 times 25. So if I were to number these, Mm -hmm. So it does look like he went one extra 25 there. Okay, so are we all good? How about, how about a thumb up if we agree that 150 is the answer to this question? Okay. Now, we're going to just, just before we finish here, let's look at the strategies and choose which one we believe is the most efficient. So Gavin's strategy and don't forget, so he just went one extra step, but this is, a, this is a valid strategy that you can use. So we have number one for Gavin, Robert and Cord would be number two, and then Noah's strategy of groups of would be number three. So just show on your hand what strategy you would like to use or find efficient.